Hello, Boise Brave, and welcome to KBHS TV. Today is Friday, April 7th. I'm Charlie Johnson. And I'm Finn Ehrman, and these are your weekly video announcements. Prom is right around the corner on the 22nd. Have you bought your ticket yet? Tickets are $30 with an ASB card and $35 without. You can buy yours outside the auditorium every day at lunch leading up to prom. The theme this year is Garden Glow and the Boise Train Depot will be an awesome venue. Speaking of awesome venues, have you visited the yes, library? Yes, I have. With so much national debate about book bans and censorship, we are lucky to have this gem of a resource on our campus. Take a look. Seeing articles about the push to ban books in schools nationwide, I knew I had to go to my local school's library to find out more. Um, we actually have not had any book challenges come through Boise High specifically. Um, there have been book challenges in the school district, but um, none of them have successfully gone through. So, uh, several years ago, the books that were being banned was like Harry Potter for witches and wizards and witchcraft, whatever. Um, currently, if you look at the top 10 most banned books from just this most previous year, um, most of those books have to do with members of the LGBTQ plus community. So that tends to be what's being targeted at this particular point in time. I pride myself on having um, a high interest collection, lots of young adult nonfiction, lots of young adult fiction. Um, I try and go, if kids want something in particular, I'll go buy it. Um, I just recently we had a young lady come in and ask for a couple of books that she saw at Rediscovered. We didn't have them, so I walked down and bought them. Um, so I try and really curate a collection that speaks to the kids that are here. So we're definitely a space. We've got kids that come in here and play games, but we're a resource as well. I get asked a lot of research questions. We are in research season right now. Um, so I get asked a lot of research. We've got a 3D printer. We have a Cricut machine if you needed to make some kind of letters or cards. Um, vinyl cutter. We've got just about everything. We have all the things. And amazing personalities. We like to have a good time, so. I'm big into like murder mysteries. That's fun, but I don't know, I've been reading a lot of different books lately. Uh, they have a lot of games, so you can play games with your friends. Um, the thing I use the most, though, is the databases that they provide because I need them for research projects. That's a big one. We try really hard to keep our doors open um, all the time. I think it's important that it's accessible for everybody. <laughs> so I obviously am the head librarian, um, but we have two other adult librarians that work here in the library with me. We have Ms. Bennett. Um, she is actually the go-to for 3D printing. She is absolutely amazing at all of that. Um, and then we have Mrs. Golly, who's been here for a couple of years now too, and she's kind of my go-to for book recommendations as well. Um, if I'm not here, Ms. Golly is the, definitely the one to ask for books. Um, but both of those ladies are very knowledgeable. They can help with just about anything I can do as well. It's time for today's club and event news. Nick, tell us what's happening. I'm Nick Worth, and it's time for your club and activity report. Are you interested in having a bit of fun during lunch? Have you heard about the newly developed game room in 328A? The Brave Boosters have generously provided ping pong tables, cornhole, ladder ball, and a giant Jenga. Stop in and check it out in room 328A today. Are you looking for a part-time job? Minimum wage in Idaho is still a measly $7.25 an hour. But did you know that part-time student custodial work here at Boise High pays well over $11 an hour? Even better, all shifts happen right after school so you can keep your weekends free. Inquire in the main office for more information. Finally, Mr. Cheehy's college info and planning presentation is happening on Wednesday, April 12th from 6 to 7 p.m. in the auditorium. The event is mostly aimed at current juniors, but all are welcome to attend. Well, this has been Nick, and you are officially up to date. Back to you, Finn. Let's turn things over to Lauren at our sports desk. Lagaretta, tell us the score. Hi, Brave fans. I'm Lauren Polary, and it's time to talk sports. Safe travels and best of luck to some of our varsity track team who competes in the Arcadia Invite in California today and tomorrow. This meet welcomes athletes from 690 schools from 36 states. The rest of the varsity will compete in the Patriot Invite out at Centennial at 10 a.m. on Saturday. Good luck to our softball squad who plays at Eagle tonight at 5.30 p.m. 
And if you're heading in that direction, why not show some love to our baseball team who also plays at Eagle? First pitch is thrown at 6.30 p.m. Good luck to girls lacrosse who travels to medal with Middleton tonight at 7.30 p.m. And finally, best of luck to boys lacrosse who will compete against a team from California tonight. They will host Oak Ridge High School at East Junior High at 7 p.m. Well, that's your sports wrap. This has been Lauren reporting. Now, back to you, Finn. And now it's time for today's words of wisdom. The character Jake the Dog from Adventure Time once commented on the importance of doing your best at all times. Jake once famously said, Bad biscuits make the baker broke, bro. In other words, even if you have one bad project, you can control your focus and effort on your next assignment. Remember, you can make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. This has been Finn. And Charlie, sharing what's up. Thanks for watching Boise High. You can do it. What was I supposed to do?